let's stay with LeBron here because he made plenty of headlines earlier this week when he was asked about Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Take a listen to this, Stephen A. With you having a chance to get the all-time scoring record this year, do you have any thoughts on Kareem and also if you have a relationship with him? No, no thoughts. No relationship. Okay, uh, Stephen A., what's your reaction to LeBron's lack of relationship with Kareem? Well, I think that <clears throat> Kareem is more culpable for that than LeBron James. Um, you don't like to see a superstar in the modern day era speak so terse, somewhat dismissively of Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, uh, one of the top three players in the history of basketball, the all-time leading scorer, um, a champion six times over, an unstoppable force, a civil rights activist and a brilliant, brilliant man. Uh, but Kareem Abdul-Jabbar is not the most personable person in the world. It's fair to say that. And when you consider the greatness of LeBron James, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, and I don't know this to be true, and I'm certainly not speaking of him in any kind of negative way because he is not just someone we should all respect. We should revere this man. But when you're so brilliant, and you're so gifted, yet so conscientious over the years, so such an intellect, such a profound intellectual, the standards that you have, you hold other people to. And Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, in my opinion, if he's guilty of one thing, is something that I say religiously to a lot of people, Molly, who are incredibly special. If everyone were you, you wouldn't be special. And I think that Kareem Abdul-Jabbar at times has come across as somebody who hasn't really embraced that concept about himself. The fact that he was so special, so gifted, such an incredible accomplisher, while at the same time being so politically active and conscientious, I think at times has come across as somebody who has lamented what folks are not instead of appreciating what they are. I am a person that LeBron and I are cordial to one another. We say hello, the whole bit. We're not friends or anything like that. Let me say this to the nation about LeBron James. LeBron James is a brilliant brother who cares about a lot of things. He's mindful of the world that we live in, that we live in and how he has to maneuver himself through those terrains to be all that he could be. But in the process of being all that he can be, he doesn't fail to give back. He's always giving back. He is a brilliant brother. He is a good man. He is a hell of a role model. And although everything he does is not perfect, should in no way do diminish our appreciation for who he is and what he has meant to us and how much we're going to miss him when he is gone. And for somebody like Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to be as critical as he has been in the past, it may have been justified on this case where it may not have been justified on that case, but it's not the disagreement it's the truculence, it's the terseness, it's the other stuff that comes with it where you're talking and alluding to the character of a man. There have been times when Kareem Abdul-Jabbar has scaled back. He's apologized because he felt he was mistaken about something he had said about LeBron, but it's Kareem. And so when you're noted for being intellectual yeah. and cerebral and you care, yet you fail to exhibit and display that to someone so great who is a true, true contemporary of yours in mm -hmm. so many ways, it can come off a bit different. And I think that's what we saw from LeBron. That's why LeBron acted the way that he, or spoke rather, the way yeah. that he did. I'm told he has profound respect for Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. They just have no relationship. He might be somewhat responsible for that, yep. but Kareem, is definitely responsible for that too. And we got to be fair to your LeBron comments in saying were that. so thoughtful. Not trying to rush you. I didn't know if you knew that we were able to get Wendy in. Uh, Brian, okay. you heard everything Stephen A. had to say. Your your thoughts on this, the Le LeBron Kareem dynamic? 
Yeah, you know, LeBron has uh, has always had a lot of uh, respect for uh, the greats who came before him. He's a student of the game. He knows about their games. Um, he doesn't have much of a relationship with Michael Jordan either, you know, for various reasons um, that are both simple and complex. That has never developed. But uh, when you watch them in Cleveland at the All-Star game last year, honoring the top 75, there was no doubt the immense respect there. And really, to me, this underscores um, the uncertainty that we're going to have this season as LeBron chases this record, because I'm not sure how the Laker fans are going to embrace this. This has been a 20-year march for LeBron. It is a crowning achievement. In many ways, Molly and Stephen A., LeBron's claim to greatest of all time is his incredible longevity, uh, the ability that he's had to be so great for so long. Um, and... So what I'm not sure about, though, is as he chases this record during this year, as he tries to uh, unseat a Laker, a Laker great, one of the all-time Laker greats, you, you could debate whether he's the third most beloved Laker or whatever, uh, you know, in history, how the fans are going to react to that, especially if the Lakers are not having a great year. I, I remember, you know, sadly, it was within a day or two before Kobe passed away, that was when LeBron passed Kobe Bryant as the as the third all-time leading scorer. A huge accomplishment for anybody of this era. He did it at home, and the Lakers gave the Lakers fans gave him kind of a cordial great job. It was not an overwhelming outpouring of emotion, as you would think breaking a record of this uh, magnitude would be. I mean, Kareem has held this record since I believe 1984 or 1985. Will Chamberlain held it for 10 years before that. So we've had two people hold this record in almost 50 years of the NBA. This is something that could stand for another 35, 40 years. We don't know. It's a humongous moment. And so I'm not sure how the Laker fans are going to embrace it as he gets close to it. Mm -hmm. And we obviously see a little bit of iciness here between Kareem and LeBron, uh, the two men that are, you know, ha you know, at the record point. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.